Hi everybody, thanks for joining Create with D. Today I'll share with you how you can use the Woodland Texture Embossing Folder and a little stamping tip to get the look of having some images behind the hardwood that's on the embossing folder. So let's get started. I'm so excited to show you this technique. The Woodland Embossing Folder is found in the 2015 Holiday Catalog and it's a nice big 6x6 embossing folder. So in order to get this background, what we're going to do is we're actually going to apply ink on the inside of the embossing folder. And for this card, I used the background colors of Marina Mist and Night of Navy. So again, we want to start with our lightest to darkest color, and I put a little bit of ink on here already so that it would possibly show through on the, um, the video a little more. The orientation of the embossing for the trees, this is actually going to be like where the bottom of the tree is. And so when you open up the folder, this front panel here, this is the bottom of your, your embossed card. So I'm taking my lightest color first again, and I've used a, like I've got a stamping sponge that I cut into quarters, and I'm going to apply the ink just right onto the embossing folder. And of course, the darker that you make it, the darker it'll, um, the color image that will come through. After I applied the lighter color of the ink, now I'm coming through with the darker blue, the darker night of navy and I'm going to put that towards the top part of it. And again, I'm going to kind of swipe it through to get a blended look. So now when I would put my card base behind it, I'm not gonna do anything, I just wanna let you guys see it. That's gonna give the variation of that color. Okay, so that's how you could just do a plain background color on it, but now this is the magic of actually stamping another image behind it so it looks like there's something in the foreground behind the trees. So I switched out the colors. Now I have Early Espresso Brown and I'm going to use this tree line image from Happy Scenes and I've got that on my block. And I've been making so many of these cards that my block is kind of dirty. It took two seconds to clean that. Okay, so I'm going to pick up my ink from Early Espresso, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp directly on to the embossing folder. I know it seems so weird <laughs> to do that. So I'm going to line up where I want my images to kind of have a peekaboo behind it and stamp. And I actually want to do another tree line here, kind of a little continuation of it. So I'm going to go ahead and just ink up again and restamp. So that looks kind of probably weird right now. You're like, well, how is that going to work? You can always see what it's going to be like before you run it through by simply putting your cardstock in. And then this is where I'm like going, oh my gosh, the magic starts to happen. Okay, so I want my, I have to have it facing me just a second here. So now I'm going to line it up, and when I close it, you can automatically see already how it's going to be. Let's grab the big shot. Okay, I've got my embossing folder, and I'm going to place it on the platform, and I've got it opened up to, at the second, like both tabs opened up on mine. And now I'm going to put the top plate on, acrylic plate, whoops, got my ink pad in the road, and, you know, just do a traditional embossing with your embossing folder, and when we take this out, oh my gosh, I love it, I love it, it's the coolest technique ever. Let's finish the card. I, brown, I grabbed some brown cardstock just so maybe it shows a little more, again, can you see how that tree line is in the background? Love it, love it, love it. So now what I'd like to do is, again, now we're just gonna kinda add a little bit of pizzazz, even more pizzazz to it. 
if you can see on this card here, I've kind of made the, um, I guess the look of some shadows coming down. And so I'm going to re-grab my Knight of Navy. And I'm going to take the my sponge dauber now. And I'm going to just kind of pull some color down in kind of a swooping motion. That one kind of made a blob, but that's okay. Just kind of giving it some dimension to it. Don't do that where you have a blob there. I normally hit like the side of my um, sponge dauber to get that look. And now to get the glittery goodness that's on there, what we want to do is grab the new fine tip glue pen. This is new in the 2015-16 Stampin' Up! catalog. Whoops. And I'll pull off the cap. And it has this little needle looking apparatus on the top of it, but that's what makes it the fine point. And I'm going to come in here and gently, ever so gently, squeeze the glue out. You don't want to, you want to have the lightest of touch with the glue tip. And I'm also going to come along the tree line here, or the horizontal line, to kind of define, define our landscape a little more. Now, we'll get our sparkly goodness by using some Dazzling Diamonds glitter. And I just keep mine in the Tupperware. And we'll sprinkle that on it. Give it a, a flick and a tap. And now we've got our landscape that's there. Love it, love it, love it. So I'll bring the, the sample back in. So that's what I did for that. And then I simply used layering pieces of, you know, in this one here, I used the Early Espresso cardstock layering piece, and this one I used Knight of Navy. The, I don't think I told the dimensions. This is a piece of Very Vanilla that's three and three-fourths by five. I've got a matting layer of Early Espresso, or you could use Knight of Navy, cut at four by five and a quarter, and a traditional card base of um, very vanilla, eight and a half by five and a half, scored and folded in half, and then we'll just mat it up. And one other thing that you can do for your card is, you know, stamp the inside of it as well. Kind of just carry over that look. I played around with some other stamps besides the happy scenes. This is Sheltering Tree. You know, love it. Again, any stamp that you want to use in the background is going to be fabulous. So I hope you give this technique a try with your new woodland textured embossing folder and some of your favorite stamps that you can use in the background of your scene. Thanks for watching everybody and happy crafting. Bye-bye.